Hi, this is Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And we're finishing up our series on using Weaver 2. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the things that you can do here that's uh, on your different individual posts that you do. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you some of the, uh, the format things you can do. As you can see right here in our site, you have on the side you have format, you have standard, which is usually what it's on, and that's what I usually use. These others I don't use much, but they can be used. Weaver gives a good thing here showing you what uh, some of them are, what it is that they do. Um, we're going to go ahead and go back on into it and see some of these. Now the aside and the status are much the same. Uh, status shows the picture of the avatar or whoever wrote it. Uh, the, um, if you do the aside, it does not. But this, it doesn't have something that you can click on like you can on a regular post to uh, go somewhere to the post itself. It's just showing up here on the main blog section. And this may be like a status, just like for something you want to say about what it's like that morning. Just some way to communicate with something, something really short, quick, not really yet, not really a post. Uh, the aside, maybe just some comment that you're making to of some kind, not necessarily, but it's going to say aside up here instead of status. It's just some little extra things, some extra note that you're leaving to let your writer, readers know about something that's going on, something you wanted to tell them. The gallery makes a gallery of pictures that you have put in there. Uh, you have to actually add the pictures onto the page for them to show up. But the main thing it does is when you go to the site, it will show, uh, like here, just the one picture, and it tells you how many photos it contains. And you can click on this here, and it takes you to the post. But it's only showing the ones that I've actually put on the post itself. So you got to have, if you have nine photos in there and you want them all nine to show up, you have to put them all in there. And this is just some pictures of my daughter and her friends, and they had their, uh, when they uh, won their uh, district filming here. For adding a gallery of photos in here, I prefer using NextGen plugin. And there's a slider with the next gen plugin that I like to use. Uh, maybe this will work with it in some form or fashion, and I'll see. But it makes it much easier for me to, if I have several pictures to add them all, add them all at once in a folder. But you can kind of do with the add media, and that you can do. But I like the slider where people can go in and just click on it to go to the next picture and have them show up, and that works well for me. But again, here on the gallery, it's one way that you can click. And it's going to say um, on the, uh, well, it shows up here, it's in the post, but if you go back to the home page, then you can see how it shows up, and it just gives the one picture, and then you can click on it, and it'll take them to the page. And click in here, it'll take you to the page, and click in there. Okay. But the nine photos that's in the gallery aren't showing up, unless all nine of them were put on the page itself. Okay, and then if you, we have this one that's called Link, and what it is, it, if you just click link here, and then nothing needs to show up here in the title because whatever's showing up here won't show up, and you just put in a link that you want to use. And you go on over here, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. Here, it just said link, and this is the link I typed in as a link. This is the URL I typed in, and it's not going to show up as a link. You have to make it be a link. So maybe you have just a link you want to share your readers real quick that you think will help them. Uh, then you can do that. I might change some of the names of these somewhere if I can to something else other than link. I might say useful resources or whatever you can do. Okay, the chat here, when you click on it, it's just a place where you can put something words like why I did Burke. When it gets a place to talk about something and discuss it, it's not a full post. You're just letting people know, hey, we got this we want to talk about. Maybe you want to get their feedback on something, ask them questions, what would you like to post. But this will work well here as a, as a chat. Now here I've uploaded the picture into WordPress, and we're going to set it as an image, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, here it is. Uh, you can't click on it here like you would, but it's going to show up you know, on your main blog section. Uh, but it, you can't click on it to go straight to it by itself, and it's got a place for people to comment on it. Uh, anyway, the title doesn't show up here. Anyway, have fun with this.